All right, I'm gonna make a short video to show you guys how to get old carbon fiber overlays off of uh, your vehicle. So I bought this Mustang a while back and like every 16 year old, they put these stupid things on it. Uh, it's This was a Texas car, so it's it's probably been on there for a few years and it was cooked in. So I tried taking it off here with a rubbery racer wheel that obviously did not work. I chewed it all up. Um, I think I just plan on putting overlays back on it just to cover it up. Um, this one I waited, it was over the summer and I just peeled it off by hand. It still left glue residue all behind. So now I'm trying a different way with a steamer. Um, I've got this Wagner steamer. I got it from, I want to say Harbor Freight or Home Depot. Um, I do window tinting, so I bought it. It's about 125 bucks, I want to say. Um, but it's definitely making this way easier. Um, the adhesive sucks to get off. This is what it leaves behind. I ripped all these off and it just leaves a sheet of adhesive uh, behind the carbon, carbon fiber. Um, I'll show you how easy it makes it with the steamer. All I'm using is the steamer and I've got this. They just call this a chiseler, but um, you can get something that's kind of thicker, maybe like a thick debit card, credit card that you don't use um, and just get it off. I'll show you here. You just get it real hot. I mean, really you don't even sometimes need it and it'll pull like right off comes off super easy but like this part's cooled and i'll show you i mean you're sitting here and you're just picking at it forever but with the use of steam it'll come off way easier it's more stringy and pliable I'm going to slowly take it off. So I just recommend getting the steamer and just sit here and just slowly take it all off. It's going to take forever, but what can you do? Or you just buy all new interior pieces. But if you don't want to do that, then steamer it is. But the fun part is going to be all the dash, the dash pieces. That's going to suck. Um, even like that. I know a lot of people do it on the BMWs and Q50s and whatever they have, but, uh, yeah, good luck with it. Hopefully this helps. I couldn't find anything on YouTube about how to do it, but this is the best thing I've found.